Mobile service robots and personal mobility devices can now operate autonomously around pedestrians at speeds of 3.7 up to 18 miles per hour, with masses ranging from 20 to 300 kilograms. However, these devices are not standardized and regulations differ per country and even within single countries. We investigated the influence of operational speed and mass of a robot during impact with pedestrians and contrasted risks faced by two different categories, children and adults. We measured injuries on blunt impacts to the head with a 133 kilogram mobility device at three speeds. At 3.1 meters per second, accounting for the differential speed between a child running at 1.5 meters per second colliding against a robot at 1.6 meters per second. Head injury indicators showed a 14% probability of a serious injury. In contrast, at the reduced impact speeds of 1.5 and 1.0 meters per second, all injury metrics were below the 5% risk threshold. Chest impacts with the child dummy were recorded at the same three speeds of 3.1, 1.5 and 1.0 meters per second. As the chest is a highly instrumented body part on the child dummy, we recorded the same impacts with a lighter robot of 60 kilograms, representing smaller delivery robots. We found a significant risk of serious injury with the chest deflection criteria, reaching up to 50% probability of a serious injury for the 133 kilogram robot compared to 32% for the 60 kilogram robot. At lower speeds of 1.5 and 1.0 meters per second, no significant injuries were found. The final tests were performed at the lower legs of children and adults. Results showed that all impacts, regardless of the speed, displayed a tibia index exceeding a 5% probability of tibia fracture. In this injury index, we found an increased probability of tibia fracture proportional to the speed at contact, 7.7%, 14.9%, and 33.2% at the speeds of 1.0, 1.5, and 3.1 meters per second respectively. Although child injuries to lower legs is not yet well documented, our data displayed up to 2.19 kilonewtons of impact force at 3.1 meters per second. This is a force level comparative to the results on the adult dummy, where impact forces over 1.4 kilonewtons showed over 15% probability of lower leg injury. We found post-impact secondary injuries due to a fall to pose a significant risk of severe injuries to the head and neck, with levels of injury higher than blunt impacts alone. Contrasting head injury severity for the adult and child pedestrians, only one out of the three trials in which the adult fell would have led to a serious head injury, whereas for the child falls, 7 out of 14 led to a serious injury. Our results show a need to regulate robots and mobility devices through operational speed or by limiting their usage in densely populated areas. This set of data and their analysis may also guide the design of robot controllers and their navigational decision-making systems for mitigating the risks of impact. This opens a path for physically safe operations of autonomous robots in public environments through standards, traffic management and legislation.